you're not going to believe it. <laughs> I, I, I could hardly believe it. This morning I woke up and the problem that I mentioned in the last video that caused me so much upset and anxiety, it's like 99% solved. So <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you because I'm shocked. I'm also going to post um, another video later today on exactly what I did, <laughs> how, how the Quran helped me. Okay. After listening to um, Surah 55, Al-Rahman, which you all recommended to me, I listened to that like a hundred times. I then opened my Quran and I found this verse. Whoever is mindful of God, he will make a way out for them and provide for them sources they could never imagine. And whoever puts their trust in God, then he alone is sufficient for them. He alone is sufficient for them. This is like very different from the way I was raised. I was raised, I alone am responsible for everything that happens to me. Get a good job, it's because you worked hard. Don't get a good job, it's because you didn't, you didn't try hard enough. Always about my actions. Then it goes on, certainly God achieves his will. God has already set a destiny for everything. This idea that you are acting within a framework that has already been set up. You are, your job is to know before you act, before you try and struggle and fix something, know that Allah already has this well in hand. Because how can I hand over the reins for something when I never controlled 90% of what's going on and you know it, the impacts it has on, on, on my life. I don't control that. So people said to me, oh, you know, you have to hand over control to Allah or give over control. What? We never had control. We never had control. We only have control over our actions and, and this is, this is the realization I came to, everything else is a distraction from understanding and seeing he who is actually in control. So the more you do, the more effort you put into something, almost that frantic effort, like I have to fix this, you're spending all that time ignoring the one who actually knows and actually has your best interest at heart. That, that was mind blowing to me. I mean, probably, probably everyone else knows this, but Rather than think of like handing over control to someone and it's up to you now, it always was up to him. He already knows what's best for us. And that just gave me such a sense of peace coming at it from the perspective of he already has, has all that in hand. Everything that you're experiencing and suffering and worrying about, he already has that in hand. Do what you can, make the phone calls, write the emails, which I did. But then, and it's not even a matter of letting it go, because people say, then you just need to let it go. You don't need to let it go. Somebody's already holding it for you. Someone's already holding all of that for you. And that's Allah, was that night. So, I hope that makes sense.